Good morning, ladies. It is Friday. Friday. I hope you have had an awesome week. We have made it to the beginning of the weekend. So I wanted to share with you a message about journaling and how it can help you overcome your fears, how it can help you make really big decisions in life today. Once again, I am Coach Lavette Love, the CEO and founder of Love Life Legacy Coaching. And this week, I have been sharing with you about journaling, you know, how you should be intentional about journaling, how it's a practice. It's not a huge commitment. It's not something you should be overwhelmed with, but it's just something you should start to do because there are so many benefits to journaling. And it doesn't cost you anything. It's not expensive, but it will give you the results that you need uh, to move forward. So did you know you could use your journal to overcome fears? Did you know you could use your journal to make big decisions? Hmm. Well, if you didn't know, I'm going to tell you now. So what is one of the biggest things in life that holds us back? is fear. Fear holds us back. Fear of the unknown. We're afraid of making the wrong decision. We are afraid to fail. And that keeps us from living our best life. You know, being afraid is natural, but it's also something that you have the power to overcome. You have to remember that God has not given us a spirit of fear. So we need to examine, access, evaluate. That means just take a good look at what our fears are to understand what's behind them. That way we can create the narrative, create our own story for ourselves. And what better place to do that than in your journal? I'm going to share a few strategies or benefits with you of how your journal can help you overcome your fears and make big decisions. So there are benefits to writing about our fears. You don't believe me? First, we get them out of our head. They, we no longer give them power over us, right? Get it out your head. That's the first step to taking action and making a plan. Doing so lessens the fear. Writing about our fears gives us perspective. It allows us to see our issues more realistically. And we're not constantly thinking with the shoulda, woulda, couldas. That happens when we leave that fear bottled up. And when you leave that fear bottled up, it makes things seem bigger than what they are in reality, right? When we journal about fear, it gives us validation and it helps us to understand. And it helps us to identify the source of that fear so we can see where that anxiety is coming from. And then that helps us make it easier to move forward. This is all about being able to move forward in the life that we're here, the passion, the path we want to take. Overcome our fears. Once we lessen the power of the fears, we can see them for what they're worth and begin to stop on their heads. When we begin to overcome our fears, that means that we're going to start to rewrite our story that we've been telling ourselves in our heads. You know how many times you've done that. Something happens. You're afraid of something, and the version that keeps playing over and over in your head, it changes, but it's not changing for a positive. It gets worse. So when we reframe these negative messages in our heads and turn them into positive ones, we'll start to see that our fear can actually be managed. It is possible to overcome our worries and our anxieties that have been holding us back. That's what it's about, right? Making difficult decisions. Has fear kept you from making difficult decisions? <clears throat> Excuse me. Journaling can help you deal with that as well. 
we can start with a list of pros and cons that helps us sort out things out and see which path we should consider. Go ahead, write down the worst case scenario. You do that to show fear that it's not going to spiral out of control. You're looking at the pros and cons. It's time for us to stop making mountains out of mohills. Time for us to look at that fear, think about what might happen, and just push past it. Just walk through it like you're going through, uh, busting through a brick wall. When we write things down, we will start to see that it might not be as awful as we thought they were. Then we can move forward and make the best choice for ourselves. I share these things with you about overcoming your fears and making dif difficult decisions and how journaling affects that. <clears throat> See, journaling has the power to deal with a lot of things. It pushes us past our fears. It moves us past our past, past our mistakes, helps us make decisions better. So I want you to give it a try. The next time you start to feel afraid, you start to feel overwhelmed or frustrated, pull out your journal, start to write, start doing bullets, which just means you don't even have to write complete sentences. This will help you be more positive and ready to face the world. It's so worth it. If anything in this video resonates with you, Give me a comment. If you want some assistance on journaling prompts, reach out to me. I can give you some. All I'm saying is journaling is not difficult. The only thing standing in your way is you. Let's just get started. So I'm wrapping up. I want you to have a fabulous Friday. I want you to go out this weekend and purchase a journal if you don't have one. You don't have to spend more than $5 for a journal. If I can be of any more assistance to you, please let me know. I will be looking forward to your comments in the chat. Thank you for listening. I'm Coach Lavette of Love Life Legacy Coaching, LLC. Have a fabulous Friday.